When I was 37 years old, I collaborated with Hugh Downs, who was a famous American television personality. I co-hosted with him a program called The Freedom Years. Little did I know, within a couple of years of doing that television special, that freedom would be the thing that saved me and healed me. When I was a child, I could see a plain of unscaled mountains beckoning and challenging me. Then as time went by, clearer became the mountains, but dimmer the way. In the winter of my seasons, and wiser they say, a latent thought dwells. Were the obstacles as deep as my uncertain brows did see? Or perhaps the path so narrow, or the limitation within me. Hello and welcome. This is Sandra Hart at Life Over 60. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate each and every one of you. And if you are new to my channel and you like this video, I would love to have you subscribe and come along with the rest of the wonderful, wonderful women in this community. Okay, just what are the freedom years? Well, I am going to be explaining to you exactly what the freedom years are, how we can best enjoy those freedom years now. I'm going to give you three tools that you can use that I discovered while going through trauma in my life, how I can let go of the past so that I could move forward into my freedom years. But first, I'm going to tell you a little bit about my friend Hugh Downs and what I learned from him. Hugh Downs was a very famous American television personality. He had a program called 2020, which was a news magazine program. He also had a program called Over Easy. And Over Easy basically was geared to conversations and lifestyles of people who were seniors. He interviewed Eartha Kitt, uh, Marino Sullivan, Ch Chita Rivera, all of the celebrities that were well-known who were in their prime, well, past their prime, as they say in Hollywood, but they were in their 50s, 60s, and beyond. At the time, I was chairman of a foundation called the Foundation for Freedom Years. Now, that foundation basically was addressing the problems of people who were seniors, people that were 50 and over were retired or going to be retired. It dealt with all of those issues. So Hugh and I got together knowing that we both had these things in common. Even though I was only 37 years old, I still had an empathy about those people who were growing older and maybe felt invisible or displaced. So what he was doing on Over Easy and what I was doing uh, with the Foundation for Freedom Years, it just seemed so appropriate that both of us would get together and do a special on aging. And we called it the Freedom Years. Now, those of you who have watched my channel and are followers of my channel know my story. So I am not going to go through my story here. I'm going to put links below this video if you're more interested in what my life has been up until now. You can watch those videos and you will be able to understand perhaps in depth, depth what I'm talking about. Basically, in a nutshell, I was a young widow who had gone through a lot of trauma trying to raise three children. Now, when I was chairman of this foundation and when I did this special television program with Hugh Downs talking about the freedom years, in my mind at 37, I was just thinking of it as being the freedom years for seniors after a certain age and when they retired. I hadn't a clue that in two years, I would 
be longing for those freedom years and that in the future I was going to be able to think about those freedom years and give myself tools because I was in bondage. I was denied those freedom years because I denied myself. I was denying myself the happiness that I should have been having because I couldn't release certain things in my life. I'm going to give you three tools right now that I learned that helped me go into the freedom years, even though I wasn't a senior. Those tools help me move forward. The first thing I had to do was let go of my anger. I was so angry. I was angry at my husband. I was angry at God. I couldn't believe that he would have let me go through these terrible events in my life. Why was he punishing me? I was a good person. I did not deserve this. My anger held me hostage. And it was not until I was able to let go of that anger that I began to break the shell of the hardness that had developed around me. The next thing I had to do was accept it. I had to accept that, hey, this is life. No life is perfect and yours wasn't, but you have to get over it. You have to accept that this happened to you and that you are a survivor and that you can deal with this. This is it. Right now, at this moment, this is your life and you've been holding on to it for 10 years. This is what you have to do. You have to accept it. The third thing I had to do was forgive. I not only had to forgive my husband and his illness, I had to forgive God and I had to forgive me. I had to forgive myself for blaming myself, for not seeing my husband's illness, for not seeing what was happening in my life. And I had to forgive God because life happens. And he was there on my shoulder protecting me because I was still alive. This could have been another story that I am talking about and I wouldn't be here. So I had to have that forgiveness before I could move on into what became eventually my freedom years. But I had to use those three tools. I had to take those three steps before I actually could move into my freedom years and break the bonds that had closed my heart, that had kept me frozen in time. The freedom years. The freedom years that you and I are now living can only be lived to the most potential if you let go of your past. If you let go of that negative stuff, all that stuff that happened in your life, you have to do those three steps. You have to use those tools of letting go of your anger, forgiving all those people who have trespassed against you and accept that, hey, you know, this is life. Some people seem to have a more perfect life than others, but this is where I am now and this is my life. And in that way, we all can move forward into our freedom years and live a more purposeful and full life. I hope that I've helped you today to understand why you have to let go of certain things in your life, but be sure to do something really wonderful for yourself today and be good to whomever crosses your path. And of course, let's share the love 
And let's all move on and enjoy these years where we are right now, our freedom years. Thank you so much, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Thank you.